What's up everyone? I'm the Anime Uprise, and today we're reviewing our first my first impressions of Death March, Isekai, whatever you want to call it. Put the title on the screen right here. Boom. So yeah, if you wanna know the synopsis, uh put it on the screen now. Okay, before we get to the good things, I want to cover the bad things. The bad things I have seen in this anime that bugged me in only the first episode. I'll get to the major one first. At the ending of the episode, like near the ending of the episode, they switch voice actors for the main character. The main character, okay, it would be one thing if it was for like a minor character, it would be one thing. But the main character is, and, the, and like the voice who took over was not better in any way. It, it was terrible. Like the voice actor, the, the new voice actor for this character, Sato, he's like, the voice, they, they downgraded. Did that guy die or something? Like what happened? Did he quit after like the first freaking episode? Like, or first half, or like first three quarters of the episode, he's like, yeah, I quit. I quit this job. Or did he die? This was probably the case. But anyways. So yeah, that really bugged me at the end of the episode. I was like, wait, this guy sounds like a little more girlish. It sounds like a girl who's playing a male character that had a really fairly deep voice before. Now he has like a freaking light freaking voice. It's just like a freaking, that's weird. If you just watch the anime, you'll see what's happening. You'll put something here, but copyright is a B word. Yeah, can't spell. But it's good. But anyways. Next. Okay. This thing is pet peeve. Um, most of you who watch Isekai and who like Isekai I probably wouldn't be bothered for this. But me, personally, I don't watch that many Isekai. So this bothered me quite a lot. Um, you know what? When he went to the virtual world, he just went to sleep. Like, he's a freaking... He's on a game development team, he was managing codes and everything, fixing all the bugs. Then he got tired and went to sleep in the office. And he, when he was sleeping, somehow, without even going to, go to a computer, without logging into the game, he gets put into the game by sleeping. It's not even clarified how he got there. He just went to sleep and boom. He's like, high world, you know, another world, another world. <laughs> what? You, okay, I don't understand this. Like, how? Okay, how? Did the author just like, hey, I don't care, just put him in the game somehow, just go to sleep, and boom, you're in another world. So if I went to sleep, I can go to another world. Like, would, would that be, if it was that easy, I would do it. <laughs> I don't freaking know. It just personally bugs me a lot. But, uh, yeah. Sorry for nitpicking this part of the series. Just like, they freaking failed on one of the major plot points of the series on how he gets to the other world. I know they could cover it in the next episode or somewhere down the line. But honestly, I think that should be clarified in the beginning episode. Like, how did he get there? At least show us how he got there, not just fall freaking asleep. Oh god, okay. Anyways, so this is a generic, generic isekai. Really OP freaking character, main character. Uh, at the end of the episode, we see him get like, save a girl. And he fights Wayburn, fights an army of li li lizard men with the meteor shower. <laughs> He can literally summon meteor showers at will, and the skill he has is mastered. It can eliminate everybody around the area. He, I think he's more OP than Kirito. <laughs> uh, Master versus Sato Kirito, you know, Sato's gonna summon his meteor shower, boom, he's gone, he's dead, like nothing's gonna happen, Sato is OP. Is he Madara? Is he in the next Madara Uchiha here? Where's the Sharingan? I don't know. 
my frick, is, is my, my worst impressions are overall. What is this? What is. Okay, what is this? Another Isei Kana that really. Like, even the smartphone one have looked more promising than that. At least it has, like, a premise on why he goes to the other world. He could, like, God wants him to go to the other world because he killed him. This, in this case, the main character is fully alive and functioning in the workforce, but he falls asleep after he's done fixing bugs, and boom, transport to another world. And this, I guess, explained in the next episode, which I doubt it will at all. So, I'm going to review this, probably to episode 3, unless I like it. Maybe, if it can change my mind. I don't know. But anyways, guys, that's my first impressions. Like, I'm not really going to full-on review the episodes. I'm just really going to talk about what I like, what I disliked about the episode. So this is what you got with this one. This one is more active or more alive than the last two reviews. So I'm hoping this one gets lots of views. Because this one is like, my, I think it's my best one. Because I had stuff I really, really generally annoyed me in this episode. And stuff that I like, which I didn't talk about. I don't care. And I guess I didn't, didn't really like anything in this episode. Besides the fact that the character designs look cool. The animation was alright. Um, the story... I can't really say, I can't, I can't vouch for that, uh, the story is sort of crap, I guess this is why Isekai, get Isekai anime get bad reps, I don't know, anyways guys, I've been there, no press, and I'll see you later.